Hi, welcome back. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be looking at how we can add filters to this image non-destructive. In other words, we're going to add, like, say, a Gaussian blur, which I know has already got one, but we're going to add another, to this image, and it will be non-destructive to the image. In other words, we can just take it away or do whatever we want with it without actually f damaging the picture whatsoever. How do we do this? Simple. We turn this into what's called, I can find it for you, it's called a smart object. So we're going to convert this image into, a, or this layer into a, a smart object. So we come to layer, smart object, convert to smart object. And now we know this is a smart object because it has this little icon in the corner of our thumbnail. So let's add a filter and see what happens. Let's add that blur. Let's add the Gaussian blur because it's the most common one. Wow, look at that. Let's just let's just leave it on that. It's like 72.1 and we're going to say that looks great. So we're going to humor ourselves. So, okay that. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Now here's the layer and now we have these two extra layers underneath. And look, we've got a smart filter there. I love filters. Great fun. Now if we click this eye here, our image is back to normal. Great stuff. Let's put the eye back on. Let's try clicking the eye on the Gaussian blur. This is the actual filter. Great stuff. Now the reason you can do it this way is because you might have a whole list of different filters you've added and you can turn them off and on individually. So let's have a little bit of fun with this filter. Now I've selected the filter so it has the square highlighted. And over here, we're on black because our filter was white. I'm going to select my brush. And now all I need to do is first of all I'm going to enlarge the brush by pressing my bracket key. And let's paint black into the filter. Wow, look at that. Brilliant. Now there's no, no way you can't be focused on his eyes. There you go. Brilliant stuff. Get the idea? Great stuff. But hey, look. Let's have another look at this thing over here. The Gaussian blur. If I double click the Gaussian blur, I can get the panel back up. And I can say, hey, let's drop that down a bit. Because that was too much. Way over the top. There you go. And we'll OK that. See? We are now able to change our Gaussian blur because it's non-destructive. But there's a little icon here on the end. It's asking me to double click, so I'm going to double click and see what that does. Blending options. Great stuff. Let's have a look. Could do it as an overlay. Hmm, don't like that. You can do it as a lighten. Hmm, not too bad. Let's take it off and on so we can see. And we can OK that. So, we can now do an overlay on each filter individually. Let's add another filter just for the fun of it. What should we add? Noise? Uh, I suppose noise is the obvious choice. Let's just add noise. There we go. Let's bring it right up so we can really over top see it. Ah, let's do it down to Gaussian monochromatic, just to make a real mess. And we'll OK that. There you go. Now over here, we have these two filters added, and we have add noise. And we can turn the noise off, leave our blur, put the noise back on, turn the Gaussian blur off, put it back on. Great stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. So basically, it's non-destructive. And if we wanted to, we could just delete all these and put our image back to the way it was, just by simply turning off these things. Great stuff. But there you go. Have fun with that. It is fun. And it's a lot better because you can play around with the image without worrying about mucking it up. Great stuff.